Soldering is an operation that consists of joining two pieces of VM zinc sheet metal using a soldering metal made up of a lead tin alloy that is more fusible than zinc. To carry out soldering, you will need an express soldering iron, an express kit comprising an ammonia block, a brush and a small recipient for stripper, a tin soldering stick or soldering metal, a file, a VM zinc marking tool, a stripper, a bottle of express propane gas, a hose with pressure reducing valve, a damp sponge, a dry cloth, sheets from the VM zinc range. The Express 3678 soldering iron with auto on off is extremely easy to use. It has an ergonomic handle with a winding connector that prevents the hose from coiling. The Express soldering iron's body and burner are made from semi-steel and are covered with a protective coating. Valves and fittings are made from tin. The Express soldering iron's 3 8 left crimped correctors allow universal safe connection. Its 99.9% .9 copper tip is multi-directional. It is 360 degrees adjustable with an angle that is retractable by plus or minus 5 degrees. It allows the express soldering iron to be used in all positions for tireless work. The express tip must be as clean as possible and steadily held for optimum results. Finally, for your comfort, the express soldering iron is silent. Mark the overlap measurements on the three sides to be worked on. The line of contact between the two VM zinc elements must be as straight and as narrow as possible to ensure the best possible capillarity. Clean the metal to recover the natural zinc and strip the parts to be joined along approximately 40 millimeters using a stripper. For pigmento, prior stripping of the pigmented layer using Decalac is necessary. Bubbles must appear on the parts treated before drying with a dry cloth. Stripping may be carried out mechanically. For VM Zinc Plus, prior mechanical or chemical stripping of the protective coating on the underside of the upper strip is necessary. The ammonia block is used to strip the tip of the express soldering iron. The tin soldering stick or soldering metal consists of an alloy of lead and tin. Tacking makes it possible to join the two pieces so as to obtain perfect capillarity. Tin the tip of your express iron. Carefully take a drop of soldering metal with the tip of the express iron and apply it to the desired place on the VM zinc. Let the soldering metal penetrate the zinc to create a soldering spot. Maintain pressure with the soldering stick until the metal cools down to obtain optimum capillarity. After tacking, the roofer can carry out smooth soldering to join small pieces that are not subject to pressure. The quality of soldering depends on the capillary penetration and its adhesion to the parts to be joined and not on the quantity of soldering metal. Soldering is satisfactory if penetration of the soldering metal reaches 10 mm minimum for horizontal joining 5 mm minimum for vertical joining. After tacking and smooth soldering, barred or marked soldering is carried out on parts that are subjected to specific constraints. For example, gutters, center gutters, roof vents, ventilation outlets, etc. Apply another layer of stripper so that the soldering metal adheres correctly. 
Reinforced soldering consists of horizontal soldering with 40 or 50 millimeter backing. Pull some soldering metal towards you with the tip of the iron and apply a line of soldering metal horizontally across the zinc. For optimal tinning, the temperature of the soldering metal must reach 250 degrees Celsius. For this to happen, the temperature of your express soldering iron must be between 400 degrees and 450 degrees Celsius. Your express soldering iron is at the right temperature when a thick white cloud appears after you rub the tip of the express soldering iron on the ammonia block. If your express iron is too hot, the soldering metal will be too liquid and could burn the zinc. If your express iron is too cold, the soldering metal will be lumpy. After stripping, direct the soldering metal back up to the short horizontal line and let it cool down before moving on to solder the spot below. Repeat this operation every 15 to 20 millimeters. Some work, such as chimney stacks and base fronts, require inner or outer angle soldering. You can use the Express 364 autonomous soldering iron. It is portable and features 45 to 70 minute autonomy. Tacking, smooth soldering, applying another coat of stripper. The roofer applies soldering metal every five to 10 millimeters. He then reinforces this soldering with short horizontal lines or spots. Outdoors, wind and damp will make your express soldering iron cool down. In such cases, the temperature necessary to apply a line of soldering cannot be reached. To avoid this problem, increase the speed of gas flow and equip your express iron with an express turbo tip. The overlap of the two parts to be soldered must never be allowed to get wet as liquefied soldering metal explodes when it makes contact with water. Rub the soldered parts with a clean, damp cloth immediately after soldering, then with a dry cloth. It's important to clean the parts that have been soldered so as to eliminate any trace of acid or ammonia. Stripping and degreasing are imperative for good soldering. Clean the head of your express soldering iron. Tidy all elements. Express and VM Zinc, your partners for soldering that lasts.